Hey people, Pokemon Conquest. So, a green leaf uses grass Pokemon. So, our fire types should shine. Water types will have a hard time. Well, that doesn't matter because we don't have any water types. So, our army of Eevee, Julie, Puff, Charmander, and Darumaka, see, I got this, are going to invade. Riku shall not surrender because he is serious business because he has a fan in his hands. All right. So, oh, it's the Kingdom of Greenleaf, Motonari. Oh, you're the new warlord of Aurora. I've heard a lot about you, but I didn't expect you to be this young. I guess I need some youthful energy. And I don't even know what he's saying, because he doesn't look that old to me. So, Visor Man is like, oh, our, our dumb soldiers will fall apart without your wisdom, because you have sage advice, because you are so old. Like, I don't, he doesn't look old. So we are fighting Motonari, and our power level is a bit higher than his. But that doesn't really matter all that much, because in this takeover situation, you have to capture the flags. He has, um, I keep wanting to call it Sutarja, but like, I don't know what it's called. Give me a minute. Snivy, I got this. Okay, sorry, I was thinking Servon, cuz guess what? Got Servon at McDonald's. Oh yeah. So, um, I guess I'm going to McDonald's. So, okay, Motonari, what do you think it takes to win a battle, Annie? You're thinking strength, right? But strength alone is not enough. Do you understand what I'm saying? Doing battle is not just about power. And I'm like, all right, all right. You can say that because you're like a green, peaceful man. But, I mean, I'm probably going to kill you while you're on the way to our flag. Because honestly, that makes the most sense. So I'm trending. Bleh. So I'm sending Charmander on his. I'm trending Charmander on his lonesome to that one flag, and I up and boost Eevee's range because who cares? The sooner I get to the flags, the better. And we got Darumaka, and there is a grassy patch, and I did not know that those things are like little portals, but it doesn't really matter because I get there fast enough. So, conveniently for them, the vine grows that turn, so they send their sawaddle across it. And Oichi does not want to let me down, but that's okay, because I know she always will. I'm just kidding, she doesn't. So, they start to send Pan Sage somewhere, but it doesn't matter. So, it's Evie's turn, and we're going to book it all the way to that flag over there, and get to it before that sawaddle, hopefully. And I don't think that's going to be possible, but we got Jigglypuff. And, okay, so we send Darmaka over by this flag, and we send Jigglypuff over by that flag too, because Jigglypuff can basically just sit on the flag, it's not a big deal. This flag is really easy to get. I know I can get to it by Charmander, but I really gotta start sending Charmander out. So Sawaddle is approaching, and I'm like, oh no, Snivy is moving, and it's like, oh no, and then Sawaddle claims the flag. I'm like, no, oh, Mr. Takamoto, you did not just, okay, Pansage find a secret passage to get him turbo over to there, because I don't think he could have gotten across that vine thing fast enough. So Eevee is having none of this, Sawaddle, so we're going to quick attack that thing, and it is still on top of that. So I send Darmok and those Detox, I just wanted to check, which is good. I always, I mean, Detox is great because, like I said, Eevee will always be poisoned. Like, you haven't seen it yet, but always, constantly poisoned. So, um, when you stop on a banner, you restore HP, that's awesome, even though Jigglypuff will lose none of it this time. Instead of going to the banner, I decided to attack the Sawaddle. Why? Because I can kill it, and that's pretty awesome. So... Boop, 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 boop. And also, if you kill people in these takeover battles in, you know, in like four turns or super effective or like meet those conditions, you can have them ally with you. So that's really cool. So Sawaddle is using Bug Bite, and this is super annoying because he up and took my potion and healed all his health, not to mention he's on a banner. Ugh, that's so annoying. Stop taking my items. So Bug Bite is rude because, dude, I pay good money for those potions. So Snivy is kind coming at the other flag, but uh, he is not going to get very far. Eevee is going to jump the Snivy so he doesn't get any farther than he is, and then Darmok can finish him off with Flame Wheel, because Flame Wheel is devastating. I think if you, um, he's not going to finish him off, but I have not had any luck recruiting like the main members of 
like armies, like you know the yeah, like Motinari, like his army. Like I don't know. I think I don't know. Like are there certain conditions where you can get them? But most of the time they're like, I'll be back. So maybe they actually will be back. I don't know. So. Grass Cloak, because Stupid Sabato is standing on the grass, it is bug, and it is defensing up, but it does not matter because Charmander is so cool. So this Sabato is having a good chill time, and um, this guy is, oh, okay, he landed in a trap. I'm really glad I did not have to land in that trap, so I feel bad. So, yeah, me and my Eevee are pretty close. He read that somewhere far away, people put Pokemon inside a little ball, so that's really weird, right? And he just wants to focus on his research, so I thought that was funny, like, shout out to Pokemon, oh yeah, in this faraway land, like, what do they think they're doing? So, um, that's pretty funny. And then it makes me wonder, like, are these timelines consecutive, or have- I don't really get it. So I'm gonna jump- Oh! Oh! So I went to attack the Snivy and I fell in a trap. I hate these traps. Like, what do you do? Like, do you have to, like, memorize where they are? Do they change, like, every time you come to the place? I don't know, man, but I don't know how that happened. So I'm too good for them killing them off. Yeah. Alright, so Jigglypuff is just gonna basically chill. Like, I don't need to heal. I don't need to do anything. And in the meantime, Charmander is gonna, um sit on the flag like i could have attacked the pan sage but i honestly want to get the flag because i'm impatient and all i have to do is get one more so the vine is growing back who even cares get the hp up because i'm sitting on a banner and all right jigglypuff no one cares you can just stay there <laughs> so yay i'll be able to hit him with uh flame wheel because he is not that far away and that is basically the final move if i can make it to the flag with Eevee, so Mr. Stuttering is out. Um, Charmander can move off the flag, but I'm not gonna risk it, so I'm just gonna stand there, because I'm not sure how traps work, but he got out of the trap, so I'm so glad I did not move. And okay, he uses warrior power, oh my attack is up, I don't know, and if you got like a super critical, awesome murder hit on me, maybe I would have died, but no, that isn't happening. So I heal back like all the damage, and can't make it to the silly flag so I decided to make it to the flag make it to the presence because honestly I hadn't been picking them up and I want some so um, I end my turn he decides to vine whip me again vine whip is pretty good it hits three squares and you can always manage to like get it at the right angle so it's neat but it doesn't matter because we're just gonna stand on this flag and win the game so that was it that was pretty quick and Riku is very happy because we are so victorious. Yeah, yeah. All right, so whatever. Um, what's his face? Darumaka is pretty awesome. I don't know why, but I like him more than Charmander. Um, yeah, so we can recruit those two bug guys because basically we're killing everything off with like a super effective attack. Um, neat. Oh, I knew the day would come where I'd face my defeat on the battlefield. Lord Motonati! Surely, uh, I can like, what? <laughs> Alright, so all those other guys need to chill. So, um, poor guy, he was pretty nice, like, for invading someone and, like, taking his land. He was a pretty nice guy. So, we get Mr. Visor and Mr. Quiet and Takakage and Takamoto. They sound, like, the same. And, um, I didn't know if you could recruit two of the same Pokemon. But it doesn't matter, I think I only recruit one of them because, honestly, do I need a second one? And then I realized, yeah, you sort of do, because then you can, like, leave it at your other bases, I mean, your other kingdoms. But I didn't quite get how that all worked, so I don't really bother with that. Okay. So, in the next month, I guess we're just gonna take over Fontaine. But before we do that, I want to get one of those Pokemon with, um... Vine Whip, because that's awesome. Like, you hit three things. So, we're gonna straight up go here, and I see a Carnivine and a Cottony. So, yeah, but first I'm gonna go Energy Up, because I'm still trying to figure out how this works. Okay, I know the little square is, like, um, the type of the Pokemon. I don't really know what the arrow means. I guess it's, like, oh, that's your energy, I guess. Because it just went from a sideways arrow to, like, an up arrow. So, you can send these people anywhere you want, and, well, until the end of the month, I'm gonna have to make the month pass, but it doesn't really matter, 
Uh, so we get some free Ponigiri, and those Pokemon are all feeling on the up and up. So, um, I'm just gonna advance to the next month so we can invade this place with all of our Pokemon. Fontaine is chilling all on themselves. So come on, let's go get a Carnivine! So, go! Shoo! Alright, so, army, move out, who cares, let's go. So, we got Sawaddle on our team, and that's neat, because I do like Sawaddle. Well, I mean, it's pretty crap, but it is Bug-type, it does have a Bug move, so it pays off against the Psychic Pokemon that we have not met yet, so what's it matter? So, um, we got one wild Carnivine, one real Carnivine, as in some guy has in Takayoshi, and we have Terremoto with this Katoni, and whatever, some old person. So, it doesn't really matter, I don't really care about the Cottony, because, um, I think it's only attack is like, Absorb, and Absorb honestly isn't as good as Vine Whip. So, we're going to start bug biting and super effectiving <laughs> Super effective. -ing. The stupid Carnivon. Go die, fake Carnivon. You are not wanted. Why are you glowing purple? I thought glowing purple meant they had to, like levitate because I didn't know, like, you know, wild Pokemon glow, I guess. I don't really know. So, um. But Carnivine has Levitate, which is awesome too. They can like go on the water, they can go on the lava, I think. They can go on the electricity, they can just go across everything. And they don't care about like this bumpy terrain, they just hop over it. So I want myself a Carnivine. So Eke is activating their silliness that no one cares about. And um, isn't, it isn't doing anything because it's a Charmander. And um... We got Carnivon jumping my Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff was trying to stay safe, but um, Wild Carnivon is giving me grief. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We're gonna focus our energy on this Carnivon. Oh, it is a strong Carnivon, let me tell you. So, um, more Bug Bite. And I don't know, I don't think being on higher ground helps or anything like that, but that did a lot. So Bug Bite is amazing, and Jigglypuff is slapping because it cannot reach the other Carnivine. Almost killed it. I was like, ooh, whew, nice job, Jigglypuff. So I back up two steps and unleash an Ember that kills the Cottony. It was super effective, so I guess we recruited it. And Darmaka is on his way. Um, to pick up a present. I was gonna say dish out the pain, but like he is not. He's just picking up gifts. So Cottony is doing absolutely nothing and this Carnivine is still alive doing absolutely nothing and this guy's making no mistakes getting a crit almost kill him like geez Eevee. What are you doing slacking? Come on. So um, Straight up quick attack. Are you gonna die? No, I need one more attack. Well, good thing I have Sawaddle. I don't even need to hit him with Eevee. I should just hit him with Sawaddle first. But, um, Takayoshi is conceding defeat. And so we get his Carnivine. I wish he could just quit out the battle. Like, I got what I wanted. Can I just, like, retreat? I don't care if my link doesn't go up. Well, whatever. I guess I do. But, um, this is just all sort of a waste of time. Charmander can't make it. Darmaka can't make it. Just sit on your butts because it honestly does not matter. This one HP Carnivine, or is that seven? I don't know, is harassing me. This stupid Cottony is taking my booty. Like, no, you can't take that. That is mine. So, ugh, geez, I want to punch it out of him. I wonder if he get that money back plus, like, the Katoni money. So, all right, celebrate. I can move again. You know what? I'm gonna move up and punch you, Katakotony. Jeez, stop taking my stuff. I hate how the opponents can just like take that stuff. I'm like, oh, maybe it's invisible to them, but it is not. So, Jigglypuff is picking up that fragment, and Charmander can attack over top of Eevee and hit him with an Ember, which was awesome. Unlike Darmaka, who can't like hit over top of people. So that was a wipeout, and we win. And also, Sawaddle gets some experience, so that's all good. And his move increases, and we got a fragment, but who cares? I barely shop. Like, I'll shop when I gotta shop. So, um, we're gonna recruit everyone, because we can always put them at different, like, places. And that's basically the end of this part. Next part, I put my team together, aka just put Carnivine on my team, because he have a team of six and go wreck that castle. Until then, peace.